day to you. This is going to be a session on Google Inbox. So let's click in to Inbox to start with. We've got different areas. So let's begin with the lower right. This is where you initiate. So you can click. If you click Compose again, it's going to bring an email up. You then collect the, what you uh, decide who you're going to send it to. And you just start typing and then the subject, you click in and then the text. Note, you can use voice as well. Um, which will save you a lot. Marco, okay, let's click it again then. Let's then go to the shortcuts. So I could choose straight away my assistant and that brings them up straight away. Or I could choose Martin Holmes that does my Twitter account. Or I could here have a, remind, a reminder or remember to, and it could be a call, email, etc. Let me just check one of those, right? So I'll click on make reservations at a restaurant. I save that. And notice that it stays in the inbox then, and it's pinned there. If I click into it, I could just tick, and it disappears. One of the neat things with inbox is that not only can you click into the message, but you can also sweep to the, the right, and that will mark it as done. Or if you sweep it to the left, that will snooze it. A bit like that, and you can choose a particular time, and then you're back to your inbox zero. Right, so that's how you initiate, you've got all of that. If you go to the upper right, you can click and you can search, which is great. I think that's really useful for, for storing. Um, and you might well use Gmail differently if you think of it as storage as opposed to just taking actions. So I keep everything empty, as you can see here. And that way, well, it just means on the top of stuff. So when things come in, I can either then do the task, I can pin it, and I'll show you that in a second, or I can delete it, or I could report it as spam. Right, let's come to the, the side. If I go to the snoozed, so we just saw inbox there. If I go to snoozed, I've got a couple of things snoozed. If I click in and I click the pin, this is the central thing that I use all the time. That now moves it to here. Or well, in fact, what happens is things come in, I then pin them, they stay in the inbox, or I click on it and I click snooze, moves it out of the inbox and across into that snoozed area. So this is a bit like using stars with the, with the pin, a little bit like that, but a different, different approach. I, I find this a phenomenal tool. Um, and then we go into done, and you can see which ones have been done. If you want to, to go back, you can see your drafts. If you click down, you can see your sent. You see the reminders that you've made, the trash, spam, and so on. Now, you can get into the bundling and also the skipped. I actually set that up in Gmail um, a while ago. So I, I don't have everything that comes through. But what I want to show you in here is the settings. That's the, the next bit I want to look at. Click into settings and it will bring up your account. And this then, there's a few options, but one of them is I don't like notifications to be on, so I've switched that off. And the label and the settings, if you get into here, this is where you start to adapt it for yourself. As I said, I use Gmail, so I've still got the skip the inbox from those, from different communities and things there. But this is, this is really your area to tailor the experience and decide what you're dealing with, what comes in. Because if you skip the inbox, for instance, then obviously you don't have to worry about dealing with it. You don't have to pin it, you don't have to snooze it, you don't have to do anything like that. So make sure you do dive in there. Also, you've got your snooze settings. This is handy if you're choosing the uh, where you, you've got that snooze area where we just put it. It decides the times that it snoozes to. It gives you those as shortcuts. And you can adjust, for instance, diving in and just changing it on the little clock. Right, so bring in, in it back. Coming back now to the main. I'm going to give you an extra little bit here. In order to do this like this, oh, by the way, just, just that's one button. It shows the pinned if you click on that at the top. But in order to do this, I use inbox zero. And the idea is that you get your inbox to zero and then you're only dealing with incoming. So if you want to know more about that, Google inbox zero, go to Bless Your Business uh, community and get you some information on that. But there we go. That was a super quick tour of inbox. It is simpler and it's, it, it really is effective as a, as a 
an efficiency communication tool. Slightly different psychology, I feel, to, to use in Gmail. Highly recommend it. Give it a go if you're not using it already. And I shall see you next time.